Hey, welcome back. I decided to do a follow-up video um, for you guys that I want to title Mask Hygiene. The reason that I'm qualified to do a video on mask hygiene is I actually have a very, very strong background in science. I have five college degrees in scientific disciplines. I was a biotechnology instructor. I was contracted by the Massachusetts Department of Education to develop the um, biotechnology curriculum standards and the teacher certification guidelines and assessment um, for the, again, for the Massachusetts Department of Education. I worked for eight years for a global biotechnology company and the majority of the work that I did was in a level three biosecurity um, facility and I also served the entire time as a member of the safety committee. As part of my job, I had to perform <clears throat> experiments using a method called aseptic technique. Aseptic means without contamination. So this was a way to not only keep my germs from getting into my experiment, but also anything that I was working on experimentally from bringing that into um, my body or into the environment. And so this is not a video with any opinion as to the efficacy of masks. Those videos are not allowed on the internet. <clears throat> this is just a video about mask hygiene so that you can see what might be something that you should be paying attention to um, and have some concerns of. So <clears throat> when I wear a mask, I put this mask on and within just usually within 30 to 60 seconds, my nose starts to run. <clears throat> so I have basically three options while my nose is running. So one, I can let my nose run and whatever is in my nose, potentially virus, could be running like into my mouth and then I'm breathing that into the mask. The mask gets saturated. Now I was in my office yesterday with a client and the whole, she had a cloth mask on the whole time. It's falling, falling, falling. And she's, she's picking it up and she's talking and it's falling, falling, falling. So let me tell you the aseptic technique travesty that happens with masks, especially cloth masks. So this area of the mask tends to get um, saturated with, with moisture and anything that you are exhaling. So what happens, especially with the cloth, cloth masks, because they're typically so ill-fitting, I have seen some good ones, but the majority of them are just horrible and they don't stay on the mask, I mean, on the face very well and they're constantly falling. So then people are constantly grabbing the moist part to pull it up. And my client that was in here for in 20 minutes, she had to have adjusted it more than 20 times up. It's falling up. It's falling. And then they fall more the wetter they get because they get heavier. So anytime you're touching this, what this part that gets wet, you may as well be going licking your hand. Okay. Because then you're just anything that's coming out of your breath and is going on your mask. You're putting it on your hand. Now, in a lab facility, you would have to decontaminate. You would have to disinfect your hands or even change your gloves before you could continue to work. But what we have is people all over, all day long, touching their mouth. It's literally like touching your tongue when you have that saturated piece of cloth. And then touching doorknobs, handrails, grocery carts, anything and and that is a problem so do these keep you from blowing snot on people when you're talking or if you sneeze yeah to some degree they do but if all day long you're going to be like touching that wet spot on your mask and then touching the world you may as well be going around looking doorknobs so <laughs> that's the message that I have for you today. I'm Dr. Patty Barch. I'm a traditional naturopath and I own and operate a holistic wellness center called Naturally Unbridled Wellness in Onalaska, Wisconsin. I'm also the founder of the Wellness Practice Institute where I train wellness practitioners in how to have success in their practice. So peace out guys. Um, don't go looking any door, licking any doorknobs, okay? Have a great day.